Hello and welcome to part 7 of the Civilization 5 Let's Play. We're playing as the Songhai Empire in a series I'm calling Here to Timbuktu. Uh, let's see, unit promotion. Oh, we bought a Trimaran, but yeah, we must have completed a... Let's go targeting with this one. Oh, the other one's dead anyway. So, <laughs> so who cares where we're going with that? Yeah. Yeah, so we're moving uh, some naval units up here to protect these guys. I think they might declare war on us uh, to start in the next few turns when their peace runs out. Oh my god, I've gone too far. Actually, this, that's probably not too bad at all because these guys can... Like, there's, there's no one behind me to attack me, I don't think. Ah, that's not Greenland. Or if it is, the world has melded together a little too much. Uh, which way do I want to go? Asia or... I'm not guaranteed to be able to pass into Europe this way. Uh, due to probably oceans being in the way. So let's head over to Asia. Ah, Mogadishu also is looking for a natural wonder. So am I, mate. I haven't seen any. Um, Asia should, Asia should uh, provide. The scout should find one. Okay, so that's happiness of those two without a problem. Fagin City. I, I'll just... Oh, 80. So it has 20 more turns of happiness there as well. So I think maybe an, a few M series. How much do I need? Uh, I need 91 more. That would be three emissaries or a great diplomat. So let me check on great diplomat. An emissary is ready to go now. Actually, it might be fair to have a look at this guy up here. Okay, nobody's claimed him. So that's where that emissary is going. Right. You know what? Let's, let's save up to expand our religion. I forgot all about doing that. Which, oops. So, a uh, great profit. Okay, so those boats were up near our cap. So, let's uh, leave it there for now. We'll get a... Yeah, temple. Does it do anything really that good for me? It generates 25% in religious pressure. That's nice. Okay, and what about getting this one first? Yeah, I think that's uh, it's better to get that first. Let's do it that way. Uh, how are we doing for maybe another worker or something? Or Actually, I guess we're nearly finished. Uh, a lot of worker stuff. But they can probably start building roads soon enough. I need to. Maybe I'll buy a worker up in this city up here just because it's going to be so awkward otherwise it's very interesting attack options I'm gonna have with them stationed up there so I could just expend them into the wagon city just to make sure he's well under my control for the foreseeable future again these oh Actually, maybe I need to expend them down here because I don't know when I'm going to get a natural wonder. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to lose him as an ally. The rewards are too good. I think the rewards are good. <laughs> did, did I get better from, from Statecraft? No, not automatically anyway. But I think they do once we start... Uh, Clicking on tens here. But no, they don't seem to. Anyway, no need to read that again. I read it in the last video. Okay, forge. Temple. Down here, water mill. Let's get a forge after that. Put a temple in a barracks. I need that for a supply cap. Uh, do we have any... What? No trade routes on the way, I don't think. Yeah, we're pushing out towards theology. I remember that now. Okay, and we have four turns of guaranteed peace. Mean Ven, 
Det är min övertygelse. I think I could trade with him again. He's out of money this time, the Ottomans. But uh, the Swedes are looking good. Uh, you might give me six. I know you don't think you will, but you might do. There you go. What can I say? I'm good at negotiating. Yeah. Like maybe just pop a city down there because it's an okay spot. I get a bit of extra horse. I get some tea. Let me check actually how much tea. I get tea and coffee. Which is, it. no, this guy gets the coffee anyway. Um, yeah, let me check how much tea is in the world because that could be a. There's usually rare resources that there's only three or four of them. And they can be quite nice to grab. Especially like the 10% bonus to culture. Let's see. Tea. There's 10 of them. <laughs> so that's not too likely. Spice, there's only 9. So I have, I can get 3. But no more. Uh, what else? What about coffee? There's 11. Alright. And copper. Oh, what about whales? I think that's... Sorry, I have some whales, so it should be at the top of my list. Whales, 15 of them. Okay. This has been a slow progression up the coast. Not much I can do about it, though. Oh, here's another city state, actually. Uh, another city spot. And go there to get the two coral. Hmm. Oh, there there was olives. I remember seeing olives in the world. That's where I seen them. Okay. I'm still annoyed I lost the other boat. Not so much like I don't think I made a mistake. Like is what I'm thinking. Uh, I think I just didn't expect that boat to be killable. Uh, what What are you doing up here? You know what he's doing. He was ordered to go here and he got confused. Uh, these guys are in his way. That's annoying. That cost me a turn, not micromanaging him. Hey, is the micromanage sometimes? The Swedes are still greatly worry me. Yeah, we're we're up to date with everyone's score was, which um, is is usually plenty if you're playing against AI. If you're in the same score as them, you're ahead of them. Because you're smarter than the AI. At least that's what I, the way I think of it. Okay, you guys can all pretty much stay here. Let's... Actually, let's yeah, move more around the city than I think. Where are we actually settling? I probably want the water tile. Uh, yeah, it's set. It's hard to see its border because it's green. Um, I really want the marble, which is is fine. We'll get that eventually. We might have to buy out to it. Oh, I've just sent these guys into uh, no man's land, haven't I? Actually, it shouldn't be a problem. This city-state is allied with the Ottomans, which we have another turn of peace with them. I don't know what natural wonder is in the snow. I don't think there is any, but I hope there is one, because I want to find it. How are we doing for our religion? Um, unfortunately... I would like to spread religion up here, but, well, you know, they don't have a religion. And I guess we'd see it coming this way. Uh, it should be coming from Asia if there's one coming. Um, so, yeah, I think we can take the 20 turns to get ourselves to expand our, our religion up to level 2. Okay, we're only building lighthouses here. That's going to help the happiness of those guys. I assume you're linked now. Yeah, I don't see the link, but it mightn't come on board until next turn. But yeah, he should. There's a coast. There's even vision on the coast the entire time. 
So I think that should be plenty. That's a... Wait, what? Mountain, mountain. Ah! No wonder uh, he was confused by his orders to go over here. Uh, that is fully surrounded by a mountain. Wow! Didn't realise that at all. Okay, that's no problem. That's a... Uh, Easily solved. These Ottomans here are a bigger problem. Right, we got everyone to safety finally. He can defend them, uh, and once again, the coast, I think they should be fine. Right, so what is your job then in this case? I could buy out to the coffee. Always nice to have uh, diversified resources. Uh, what what else could I do here? Um, I don't think there's a need to build a road out because we, we're going to have the lighthouse. Uh, oh, speaking of which, let's check if... Yeah, I do not see a connected icon here. Connected icon. Unhappiness due to no connection. What's that about? So he's just finished the lighthouse. Let's let's double check the lighthouse does this. Forms a city connection with other cities via water if they also have a lighthouse. Lighthouse uh, city must be built on the coast, obviously. Um, and you do indeed have a lighthouse. You got a free with your great lighthouse. Is is the Vatican City a problem? Like, no, we can we can go over coastal tiles the whole way without going through Vatican City's land. Huh. May, oh, has it not been another turn since then? Perhaps. Um, perhaps I'm in a bit of a hurry there. Okay, let's uh, let's get up to these cities. I'm sure I'll find something to do. Uh, building farms, building something along rivers. We got oh yeah, I gotta remember these river tiles are pretty good tiles uh, with the with the unique building we have. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on if this city gets a city connection. That was a fantastic yawn, which is why I've silent that entire time. And we are getting to the point, though, that these processing torrents are taking enough time. That I want to think about editing. I don't know if it's going to happen too soon, though. Like they're still sure enough that a quick recap of our situation can be talked about. The Ottomans are... Oh, that can't be allowed. Uh, we do have an emissary on the way down. How did they get it? Did they get it through a great diplomat? That would be a problem. No, okay, that's not going to be a problem at all. In fact, we predicted what you would do, and boom, ready for you. Only 40. I thought maybe I'd get more because of my policies or something. Okay, city connection established. That's probably up here. Yeah, it was the same turn then. I was freaking out for no reason. Uh, extra citizen. What are you building for me? Nothing. We can't use these citizens yet. Yeah, you have tiles for them at least. Uh, let's speed up the... Oh, the forge isn't, isn't even on the list. You know, everything's actually pretty nice. Nah, let's get the forge first. And uh, no, I'm not going to spend money on it though. 70 gold a turn. Where's all this gold coming from? It's probably ever since we were in the peace deal, is it? Like, because some of these tiles are pretty epic at this point. Or. Alright, what are we doing here? You are going to just set a city up there. We're going to move inland a little. Yeah. You guys might as well just get a little closer. Oh, this boat could attack right now. Well, there's nothing I can do, but actually, there. Let's put you on there. Ah, Pedro. That's no problem to me. Sure, your tourism doesn't terrify me completely. 
especially if you're the other side of the world somewhere. And the fact that uh, he, he should righteously attack me because I am currently in his in his territory. Okay, Scout, you're just going to have to hang on here before the bay opens up for you. Bit of a log jam going on. Right, there's trade deals to be done here. Uh, probably, yeah, Pedro. I should have traded with him. I just lost a turn of a bit of gold. Uh, I forgot to trade with the Ottomans again. And they do have money this time. It's so hard to keep track of everything while you're sort of talking. Also, I I forget it at best of times as well. The Ottomans laugh at your foolish posture. posture foolish. But let me think of a uh, different, different word to say that. First of all, let me see if I can say it this time. Posturing. No, I can't. You're foolish blowfishing. You're foolish. <laughs> I can't think of any other word that means fostering. Hey, I said it. Uh, we mean you no harm. Our units are merely passing through the area. Yeah, we actually don't mean you any harm. Although I am happy enough to go to war with you if the opportunity arises. So I guess I do. Um, but those units aren't there to cause you harm. They're just there to forward settle you, which you're going to hate as well. Oh my god, I forgot to do my trade deals. Right. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe that was still in the processing turn. Expanded borders. Convert the citizen. Like it, like it, like it. Uh, and expanded borders. Okay, so let's do our trade deals first and foremost. Hola. Die, Coco. Por favor, prosiga. Emissary, embassy. And an MC. So seven at least. How about eight? Nice. A Brazil Woods. No, I don't want to necessarily trade with anyone, make anyone stronger at this point. And the Ottomans. No, I think this is an improvement on money from earlier, so it was probably worthwhile waiting any eight. What was that? Uh, four? Maybe let's try five, so. Yeah, so we can do. Uh, we still need marble, but we're about to get our own marble, aren't we? Ah, where am I in the world? I wonder, is it worth moving this settler here just to get the marble earlier? No, we have plenty of money. Oh, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> here we go. Okay, let me. I'll deal with that in a minute. Let's uh, get this scout. Let's keep the bow here, protect this scout, get him onto a bit of land. Um, let's have him fall behind the city. I'd like to have him fall behind as well in case they attack right now. But no choice in that matter. Uh, worker, want it. Okay. Let's uh, speed up my unique building. Um... Let's line up a wall for now, and then a forward. Then we'll go more uh, efficiencies. By uh, where's where am I missing there? Well, then we'll go to cheap things. Oh, a lighthouse is gonna obviously be useful at some stage early on. Yeah, we might change that around a little bit depending on if a war happens or doesn't, or how likely it looks like it's happening. So you don't need to start a war because I'm still expanding. I'm still doing fine without a war. Yeah, we are going to buy that bit of land, but I can do it next turn. Stone is available. It, it, I'm guessing it's not available everywhere else in the world until I get a lighthouse to to trade it down, I suppose. Um, what are we... What am I looking to do here? Wasn't missionaries. I guess maybe it was... No, I don't know what it was, but in my head, also, I'm thinking I want to find out how long a diplomat. So, 25 turns. He could probably just steal this guy off him. And 90 is needed. How about if I can get a trade route going there? That would help me as well. Um, actually, let's just double check where we are with all these guys. 172. 
77. You know, I think this guy might need to just pump it. Well, he can stay doing this for the moment. He might, might need to just stay pumping out emissaries just to keep, keep what we have. And it does look like three is an important number on a lot of these bonuses for every three city-states. I've seen a few times. Um, I'm not seeing it now, though. But I think it was there. <laughs> okay, iron. I don't have... Sorry, I don't have any iron to give you. I need those two. I would be willing to give him iron just to keep him out of my face. Although he's already the power in the world, <coughs> he's already authority. Give him iron as well if he doesn't have any, which he probably does. Yeah, okay. Actually, you know what I need to do before I do anything else? Get myself. Have we got the iron? We do. Yeah, of course we do. Because how else would he be asking us for it? Uh, we need some iron workers. I probably just buy them if I can have money. Now this guy would like a road, so let yeah, let's give him that. We'll give him the road, and then we'll probably just tear it up because I don't like the idea of spending that money. Oh no, I don't want you to change places. You were gonna go around there, but still, I guess that works out fine enough. Yeah. I don't have to buy that tile. Computer, the AI had enough culture, obviously. Where did they get that boosted culture at the start? I'm sure it's somewhere in my list. Uh, that would nearly be worth like a great person popping on top of it. But there's no great person up here and there's no chance of getting them up here in any kind of reasonable time. But then again, like the worker takes, I won't say forever, but not far far from from uh, forever to do it like 20 turns or so probably would be faster to get a great person up the coast it'd be more dangerous though okay he made peace with someone pedro i i should have been keeping an eye on who who anybody was at war with what is your problem leave me alone i found kiev first uh Ooh. Can I start a war right now? Am I well positioned for it? You see, any other way starting a war gets me in trouble because I promised I'm not going to war with him. Whereas if he starts with me, I'm off the hook. Off the hook, yo. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody's too exposed right now. Let's go ahead and click it. Yeah, I think I was right. Nobody was that exposed. Like, I'm not that ready for the war. I would like the uh, the Iron Men, the whatever they're called. With with boats here. Like, I can just nibble away at this city. What is with, drama but life? With the siege weapons up here and um, the swordsmen encamped here. Nice defensible spots. I can just, I think that city's takeable. Um, all the while these guys are making like uh, annoying attacks up here. Okay, that's uh, your job done. That city is going to stand or fall on its own at this point. How did we get friends with that city anyway? I can't remember. See, where am I looking at? Uh, you can defend this spot. You can go sleep here, go sleep here. And we'll find out shortly how long it's going to take that marble to expand. Surely that's a better choice here. No? I'm not crazy, am I? Okay, natural uh, national monument, obviously, writer skills. All this looks good. And so this helps with die, and we do have die. It also helps with the writers. This helps with both of them. Received it. Yeah, I'll get the national monument first, and we'll save money for buying swordsmen. 
There's one right now. We'll get him up to the front. And we do. We are going to need walls, barracks, things like that. Okay, so there's a barracks uh, on the way here. We have a wall lined up soon enough there. I think an emissary is needed, but. Maybe we'll come back to that. We might look at that guy again. And uh, this guy definitely needs the amphitheater because it's great for die. Uh, let's get the barracks because I am starting to run out of supply cap. So, and if we're getting the amphitheater, we might as well get the writer skills. So we line those up as well. Okay. And uh, that'll be three writer skills then. These three guys. Actually, these three cities might end up taking everything because they have the rivers. They're powerhouses. This guy's not so great. He's just there to get die. This city's not so great. He's just there to get a canal. If I build a city there, he's just there for the sake of it. If I build a city here, he's just there for two spices. Um, I'm, I'm really having trouble convincing myself it's worth it. Uh, what, yeah, what would I... What could I be looking for here? Like I said, river tiles need to be worked, I think. Let's go ahead and start working them. So there, here's a good one. Yeah, maybe I need to get back up. Do I, do I t actually, I don't need to. Let's have a look where, where we're getting from these river tiles. Uh, which building is it that's getting us a... So grants one production to all river tiles near the city. So that's it. It doesn't say anything other than that. Um, it might be worthwhile then to have lumber mills or something like that up here. It's going to take me so long to get to this that it'll probably be available. Um, machinery it will be until I have jungle lumber tiles. But you know, I have so many other things to do anyway. That seems fine. Yeah, okay, so there's work for these workers, but it's not it's not too great. Uh, we Actually, we have a merchant on the way, so I would like him on a road. I guess this is a perfectly fine tile for it. Uh, we will get... I don't know if I'll bother building roads. You know, I should get the bonus from the, from the town on river tiles. It, because of my unique ability is river, river tiles are pretty much roads. But well, I guess I won't. My only concern is that this is not in the capital. That one road there. So maybe I would rather on say this tile. This tile. Whichever. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it here. Uh, let me check on. What bonus do I get for having a road under it? Is it worth building roads under towns? Is my, what I'm asking. Like, I don't need the road for any other reason. So the road's going to cost me one gold. But it'll gain me one gold. So it basically just the road will get me one production. Which is nice. Uh, built on a road that can, that connects two own cities. Ah. So the question is, will a road there connect two own cities? Sort of. <laughs> but um, I guess what we'll do is we'll build the town here. We'll build the road underneath it and see what happens. Now, roads will also be useful to cross these rivers, which I think I still have a penalty for, even though I don't feel I should. So there might be some bonus to it. How are you looking as a city? Should be a lot better for some reason. Like These are fantastic tiles, but I just feel like you should have more going for you. Um, yeah, I guess a few farms on these rivers, a few lumber mills, perhaps. Are you a river tile? Doesn't look like it. Okay. You know, I'm probably going to end up um, putting a great general here to steal that cocoa, just to make that city even better. Actually, that's something some workers could do. Perhaps get up there and um, help build that road out. We'll earmark this guy to build a road under the town as a test case.
Okay, again, I'd like to just step back a little. Did you see any war that's just started now? Boom, he's gone. Uh, he does so many spearmen. I guess he probably knows. Uh, let's send one on a mission just over here to have a look at uh, Greenland. If it is Greenland that's attached to North America. Oh, it's only 13 turrets to build this. I don't know why I was thinking it was an entire age to do it. Okay, and I want one more um, one more swordsman once we get the money for it. Also, I'd like to keep an eye on my money here. What happens when this golden edge runs out? How much was it from the golden edge? Like, money is, is something I tend to ignore a lot, but it's just so handy. Like, when you don't have it, you notice it. <laughs> and when you do have lots of it, you can just speed up building after building. You can just buy units as, they, as they're needed. It's, it's, it's quite nice. I have so much happiness left over. I, I was nearly tempted to go artistry, which is usually my favorite uh, one to go. What is this? This must be the, yeah. And, uh, actually, yeah, I need barracks, so let's speed that up. But then again, now I don't have the money to build a swordsman, so what did it matter that I sped that up? Actually, no, definitely I needed that barracks because I just realized something. When these cities get to level 10, uh, population 10, they're going to start shooting out units on me. And it's going to wreck my supply cap if I'm not careful. So, definitely not too terrible of an idea. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to send an emissary up here. Two emissaries and boom, I've got a new ally. Once you get an ally, you can keep the ally sometimes. Right, so that's a pretty nice tile now. It was already locked in for some reason. I guess the marsh uh, I felt was better than somewhere else. Anyway. So yeah, it's going to be... Let's build a road underneath that to test it. Uh, we'll wait until the guy gets there before we try and memorize the values. Are we looking over here? What can you be upgraded into? Spearman. Yeah, I guess we might as well upgrade into a spearman. That war could start at any moment. I don't think it would go well for him if he started. I don't think it would go well for him if I start. So he's sort of in a catch-22. He should just be doing everything to avoid a war. But from his point of view, he probably thinks, oh, I have more units. They're more powerful units. He's just not calculating that I'm strategic, I'm tactically significantly more advanced than him intelligence wise. <laughs> Which would is harsh on him to think, but I think I only lost about 15 gold or so there. So I have plenty of gold uh, production coming in. Did I not have these guys lined up? So I do have die, so I definitely want the amphitheater. Do I want to maybe just build a swordsman myself first? Only take me two turns. Um, no, I'd rather amphitheater. Those two turns is going to cost me uh, two culture and two gold. Uh, writer's Guild. We might fill up the writers as well. Uh, we can... It's not going to be too long until we can start shooting out more missionaries. And that's going to start getting us a hell of a lot of... I feel I might be locked off there, that mountain. Yeah, it is. Wow. So, might as well go into the water there first. Jeez, he, why has he got so many units up there? I guess he just has so many units, he's just filling them out. As the AI tends to do. Okay, our boats are in position. Just wait on this... Uh, swordsman basically uh, a second would be nice as well but even one is plenty okay so four one and four so i i'm i think this should change to four two and four 
when I finish. Or it might change to 4, 2, and 5, but one extra cost coming out somewhere else. Uh, but that cost might change to... Like, I wonder if this number changes then. Plus 4. Anyway, okay, so what, what number remember I said? 4, 1, and 4. Okay, we'll probably keep uh, checking in on that just in case it changes for any other reason. I could bring this boat down to protect him, just an extra little protection. I, I should also keep a close eye out for emissaries from the Ottomans in case he, especially great diplomats, in case he tries to steal one of these guys. Um, if he does, I would start the war just to stop it happening because I don't want to be in a war with uh, these in my back line. Plus two gold. Nice. That's a. Uh, Oh, was that the end of that, actually? Because I had one of them ages go. Oh, I'd love to start the war now, just because uh, it's an easy kill. I forgot to protect you. Don't worry, you don't need protecting. Okay, interesting. Uh, can I see this tile? Does this tile still have that barbarian camp? Um, you know what? I'm gonna send a guy over to try and clear this out. Could he die there? That's a strong enough unit, I suppose. So let's see, does this offense start or end? And news from Gawa for the next 45 turns. Okay, so let's just start. So that's a little more gold coming in. Nice. Skirmisher can uh, hang on there. Maybe I'll upgrade him to a spearman. Am I not missing a horse unit here? I thought I sent two horse units up here with the skirmisher. That should mean there's two down here in that case, if there's not two up there. I see one here. So I'm missing a unit. So one. Ah. I remember he's over here. <laughs> okay. I forgot I sent him off on a mission, and now I've sent the second one off on a mission. That's maybe ill advised. Well, I would like to know it's over here, though. And I very much so. I very much want to find a natural wonder. Like there has to be some somewhere. A little some some. snow is making a very slow going uh, we're just squeeze him in I guess let's leave him oh, this again I have to cross the water and uh, let's leave him on top of the ship so we can just pop onto this tile uh, when the time comes okay so here's a religion coming from that direction I, th I think we'll stick with this. We'll stick with 10 more turns until we expand our religion out before we start carpet bombing missionaries up into Istanbul. Yeah, I like obviously I want to start a war, but I still don't feel the need to do it. Like I think things are going ni fairly nicely without this war, but and I, I think the war itself would be difficult. Doable, but... I don't think I need to expend the resources on capturing these right now. Like, there's going to get to a point where we stop growing, uh, where there's nothing to put our resources into, and the war would be the most efficient path forward. And I guess maybe we were close to that. But I just don't think we're there at the moment. Maybe I speed up this wall. Um, no, let's get the... Swordsman first. Amphitheater about to come online. Gonna be nice. Okay, we might have to send him back here to help out with this attack. I can't believe nobody wants us to kill um, that camp. And there might be a second camp here. I'll check on the way past. Yeah, but why or neither you want me to kill this camp? That's, I guess I've only just met him. So he hasn't had the chance to sort of ask me. Ask me. Ask he. What is my name? Ask Askia? 
yeah, there's a pun, there's a joke there. We'll 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 uh, put that on the back burner for the moment though. Actually, yeah, I think on this scout we'll have him heal a turn so he can pop back over and help flank this guy. That should get us the kill on that camp. There's still bonuses for that sort of thing. Worker. Oh yeah, you're building me the slowest road in the world. How about you get a worker to start building a road out, huh? Okay, stay going, cargo ship. Um so are trade routes doing something extra for me now? No, not not yet. Not until I pick one of these things. Earn great diplomats faster, strategic resources for every every three alliances. So that's where I was getting that tree number from. Twenty five percent yields from trade routes. Uh, gain plus one influence per turn. So it is there is something coming up soon. Uh, so oh, I would actually get science. In it. I must check on where we stand on science. I was fairly far behind on science earlier, actually. And we still are now. The Ottomans are the top of the world. That's not too bad because we can attack them. And we're, we are joint top of the world with pretty much everyone in policies. Okay. I think I think it's probably still best to stay trading with, uh, with these guys. Where is my cargo? My caravan's probably going there, so... Yeah, I think it's probably safer to trade down in case a war does start up here in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, there is a war to be had here. Interesting. You're not going to be able to help with that. It's just too far away, and I don't want to. I don't want to spare one of these guys to come over. If they have a, if the barbarians have a boat, I'm in a bit of trouble down there. I think it should hold out fine. Road is a weird thing to ask for. And I'm still not sure if it's worth it. But I'm, I am going to tear it up after I get the bonus. Which just seems exploitable. I don't like it. Uh, this scout, uh, I feel this scout should be exploring a little more just to get this natural wonder because it's such a big bonus. Instrumental um, and two different the noblest, allies. And above all the others, the most okay, that's more money. It's going to cost me to upgrade that guy. Well worth it, of course. Uh, bridges over. Pump of war. Speaking of bridges and roads. Okay, so 414. Let's finish the roads. Let's not get pulled away. And 425. Okay. So the numbers did change. I think the gold's co the road's costing us gold. So that plus gold is a little misleading. But okay, that's a, that was worth building the road, though, for the extra production. Okay, I think we can attack from the war. And they can't attack us, actually. So is that's not just... Like a safe place to attack from. And I was going to bring him over to help, but I think he might have to. I don't think. I don't want to get him unfortified. Is he on? Is he in a forest? He is. Yeah, I don't want to have him unfortified in movements. Okay, nothing too interesting over here. I guess this could be just. Like Maine and Canada, don't they speak uh, Irish up there, or certainly Irish accents? I think there's some island. Um. So yeah, I wonder if Greenland's visible from there. Maybe not. I might just move him back over. This seems a bit of a. Yeah, I don't want to have him trapped in the war. And there's needs need for more units over here. I think. I forgot to upgrade my archer. Is there only one I have? It is. This is an annoying little choke point, but I have the navy now, and maybe I can just build more, uh, two more. Maybe even just um, 
just range units, two more range units, one more range units would be enough to sort of start bombarding the city down. Then again, maybe I don't have to start to do that yet. Oh, we have a, another spice. Oh, that's two spice, and that's four I would get to. Hmm. I do remember spice being less than most of them. So, four. so I only need one more spice, and then all things are nice. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Um, I'm just keeping an eye out for other, sp other spice sources in the world. Perhaps one of these cities is sitting on one. Is this guy sitting on Coco or is the Coco there? No. Okay. The effects of an event have worn off. Right, so we're not getting tree production every turn anymore. Interesting. You now I think I make a run past you. Oh, that's a uh, that's fairly annoying. Yeah. Uh, actually I can't even being on land doesn't help me that much. Uh, because because the boat can hit me on land. Uh, what about sending a boat all the way up to help deal with this? No, let's let's get you home. One more attack does it. That could be in business. If he gets damaged, I might just attack him. If he stays where he is, I might be fine as well. can't believe I'm having to strategize or whatever the word is uh, just to deal with some barbarians at this stage in the game. I wonder was he fully killed? Trespassing in Zurich. Oh, okay. Ah, that'll wear off quite quickly. Has he just been attacked from the north? It looks like he has. Yeah, I think you might be needed up here. Can you? Yeah, I think you can probably get around there. Right, so that, uh, that coast is actually shut off for the time being to any embarked units because they can't get around the outside, around the outside. Tall Mogadishu, I think, would be nice. You might protect me from the bow. Ooh, we made it anyway. I was like, what was that? I thought I died there because I wasn't expecting for the kill. I was just hoping... I think it was a mistake to do it though, because if I had failed and I was weak in the war, he could he probably would have just fallen back, and I would have been attacked. Either way, it worked out for me. I got money. I got a nice attack in. Let's with that money in mind, let's remind ourselves to upgrade. Is there any upgrade available on those guys? No. And the scout doesn't look like it. Okay, I think maybe you'll be able to heal through there while we get a reinforcement here. Okay, what, what have you got going for you? Your happiness seems okay. Uh, you're going to build these buildings for me. Um, Rand, ready to go. Let's get a barracks there. I want to up my supply cap, get some more boats perhaps. I think boats are probably... Um, would be the handiest thing now. And temple market, let's get a market. Aqueduct, sure. Um, amphitheater, I don't think that's needed per se. Like w once I finish everything else, prob I'll probably go ahead and do it. An extra bit of food, lose a gold, get a food because there's no forest probably in range. Maybe let's get the culture first though. We'll line it up. Uh, who else? Gawa. Goa? Goa, I think I've heard pronounced. Uh, yeah, we've the extra people to probably put into this writer's guild once it gets here. So that's fine. Um, production. How about a few more boats? We have the money. And we have the supply cap. Calm down, sure. Calm down. Let's say uh, we think we'll wrap it up after this turn. It looked likely the Ottomans were going to declare war a few times there, so I'm a bit surprised they haven't. But it's going to be a, not a hard, like maybe an impossible straight to cross. 
with uh, that boat still there. Unless I do a smart, like, by popping in behind Ottomans or something like that. I'll heal up where I am. I'll run this other boat up the coast. It's probably have ha handy to have one up here. That means I'm short a melee naval unit down south. And I just bought a range unit. So I should get myself a melee one sooner rather than later. Ooh, okay. Let's make a run into the water here. Since he's on the wrong side of the peninsula. What's uh, what, what's this area called? Bering Straits or something, isn't it? In between Alaska and Russia. That's what it's called. Okay, got yourself a farm there. I think I get up to the capital and start working around his rivers. No, I don't think he has any rivers to work on except for um, uh, except for jungles, which I'm probably gonna hang on to. So how about this? Let's work on some villages. So here's one, obviously, but. If I built one here, if I built a road here and here, I could have a village and a village. Well, I could just have a farm and a village and a lumber mill. I could have a village here, I suppose, just for the sake of it. Wouldn't be on a road, but yeah. but I would rather that hill, I think, to be a mine. Um. I think let's just save ourselves the money of building any other roads by putting the village on that tile. I'm not a big, uh, big proponent of villages, even though I think they are brilliant and they should be used. I just don't use them enough. Oh yeah, and I forgot. I may, maybe want to get the workers up here to build these roads faster because I'm losing a lot of money um, doing it one at a time like that. I want to get it built and get it torn down as fast as I can. Get the money from the government, the government grant, and then just tear the river, tear the road down, never use it again. I'm what's wrong with the world, is what I'm saying. In fairness, all the other roads we build in this game, we do get good mileage out. They do last, like, for a millennium. Although, we do pay one gold every turn to maintain them. So that's not too big of a surprise. Did I promise that was my last turn and then forget? I would never have done that. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I would have done that. Only an idiot would have done it. Uh, works be begun on Marcus Aqueducts, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's save up for a melee boat there. And construct a village. What's wrong with that? Uh, currency technology to construct villages. That's probably not too far away. Yeah, we probably line that up soon enough. Uh, in the meantime, then, let's get you... Yeah, I think you'll get here in time to help. I don't know, that's a... Speaking of waste, that's maybe a waste, moving seven turns just to go there. I think let's get a mine around the capital. Although I'll probably just pop down a manufactory or an academy there. Yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling I'll end up putting something better there. Actually, I should be building the farm, I think. <coughs> These river tiles are just too good, and they're only going to get better. Ah, he's on the hill now. Let's build the mine where he is. A great diplomat. 11 more turns, and we'll steal this city. Are, am I building a... Emissary, I guess I have one lined up. Okay. You must have gone ahead and built a wall, I think. Now, let's just line up the Writer's Guild. I do want that Emissary. Now, let's get the Emissary first, I suppose. Okay, nice. Cross the war. Let's, let's land them here, because I don't think he gets any defensive bonus anyway. Is it... I just have to go the long way across all the snow. Um, we'll let these bow heal up. Once uh, this guy gets a bit more healthy, we can start clearing these out. Oh yeah, he has a yeah he has a medic um, power up, so we should get them a little closer. Monopoly, excellent. Right, that's a massive boost of 
uh, gold, I think. Although I only see 81 there. But I guess it was 60 something probably before. Yeah. How about seven? Have we got anything else? Alright, six it is. Happy Nothing. doing business with you. Anybody else want anything? We might have uh, some spice. Uh, I don't think. I think we only have one at the moment. We are working on our second one. Did I forget to end the turn again? <laughs> to end the video again? Alright. I will remember. Maybe. Next turn. I do want to see what this Monopoly is first, though. And that's bonus to science. And um, so it, it is just gold. So what is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 multiplied by 3. 21 gold every turn. We just got as extra. Nice. Happy days. Love it. Yeah. Screw the hill, we're going back to the river. Ooh, I am tempted to grab this. Like I need that iron actually. A Yeah, actually this is this city's just become worth it, I think. Uh, if I build a settler, I get two water resources. I control the the cape. Nobody can cross the world. Actually nobody can cross the world without my say so. Uh, be, the Wagon City say so maybe. Um, yeah, okay, so that's worth it. Uh, I'm not ready to do it yet, though, so the worker can might as well come north. Let's just send him there, and we'll figure out what to do with him when he gets there. I am remembering. I'm remembering we're going to end the game. I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to forget. Uh, we need you defended. Oh, we undefended both of them. Uh, this boat isn't as necessary up here anymore, but might as well get a kill while he's here. Uh, yeah, I think it's better to have him heal because he's uh, he's more need. Right, I really want to hit next turn, but I won't. There was something that came to mind though in all that mess. I think it was when I was thinking about units up here. I still need to build a melee boat unit, I think is the problem. Oh, I actually have the mine. I thought it was 300 so. But okay, let's get him now and do not hit this button. Right, let's end the video. If you want to see me hit this button, you're going to have to tune in tomorrow. Or hit this button down here, the bottom left of the screen. That will subscribe to my channel. You will probably, I'll pop up on your feed when a new episode's out. And you can see me click this button and go to turn 206. <laughs> And also on the screen, hopefully around about now, is the playlist for this series on the bottom right. And on the top right of the screen is the playlist for my previous series. Feel free to binge watch any of them. Check it all or any of it out or don't. Uh, you are your own person. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.